project called Keeping Black Survivors Alive. And that project um, came out of a report that we published in June of 2020, June of 2021, sorry. Uh, culturally specific responses to um, culturally specific responses to black communities. Um, because what we've seen is that black people are dying at, at far greater rates compared to our white counterparts. Black people and people of you know marginalized communities within the black community experience dis disparities in a way that's not okay. Lack of housing, lack of jobs, lack of all the things, and we're dying. And we feel like we wanted to center this project in those recommendations. Uh, the recommendations are shift away from an over-reliance on law enforcement, fund culturally specific programs, and um, undo the stereotypes of black survivors. Because what we've been seeing is that the interventions have not been working for our communities. And so Keeping Black Survivors Alive, it is a, a three-year project. The cohort are five Black women-led organizations in Massachusetts. So again, we have CHH with Issa Wilder Georges. We have Transgender Emergency Fund. Uh, we have been working with Chastity Bowick. Uh, we now know that she's no longer with the organization. She has done incredible work with the organ with Transgender Emergency Fund uh, during her tenure. We also have Debbie Hall at YWCA Central Mass. We have Deb Collins Gooseby over at Brookview House. And we have Love Life Now Foundation uh, with the president and founder, uh, Laverne Gordon. Uh, so it's been an incredible ex experience working with that cohort and really working to center the voices of survivors. What is it that Black survivors are saying has worked? What hasn't worked? What needs to shift? So that when someone enters a mainstream program, they are cared for, they feel valued, they feel like their services aren't different because they are a person of color, they are a Black woman. So we are working to publish a toolkit to the field. That toolkit will be available in different mediums and will really be used as a training, a training tool uh, to provide best practices for keeping Black survivors alive.